previous video, we had pro and con number one. Here's pro and con number two. All right, guys, on Indeed, I found an article, the pros and cons of being a car salesperson. Prior to doing these videos, I did not read the article. Let's dive right back in. Previous video, we had pro and con number one. Here's pro and con number two of being a car salesperson. Pro number two, you can earn commission. Many car sales positions offer commission bonuses on every sale, increasing your income. This can be a great opportunity for people new to sales or looking to boost their earnings. I love that. I love incentive-based pay plans. I think we're wired as humans, as a species, to hunt and to eat what we kill, right? Eat what we kill. We have this, this effort reward mechanism built into our brain as hunter-gatherers to go out and hunt and gather and then bring back to our, to our tribe and, and feast, right? So you get paid in direct proportion to your performance and that's usually directly in proportion to your effort. So I love that, that you can earn commission. I love that. I don't like to be capped on what I can make. I don't like the fact that if I work harder than everyone else on the sales floor, more than the guy or girl next to me, that I'm gonna make the same amount of money. I wanna make more. So yes, that is a pro, you can earn commission. Let's go to the number two con. Your salary may depend on sales. Okay, so here's the, here's the yin and the yang, right? Your salary may depend on your sales. Car salespeople who can make multiple sales each day typically earn a higher salary than an entry-level salesperson or a less skilled sales professional. Education, experience, and training can help you increase your skills to earn the highest possible salary. So yes, your salary may depend on your skills. You can't just stumble in to the workplace and try to expect to make as much money as the highest, most skilled, most experienced, or most, most talented salesperson if you don't have the skill set. So yes, your salary will depend on your skills. So that could be looked at as a con if you're an entry-level salesperson, but I wouldn't get discouraged. The more you train, the more experience you gain, the more you hone your skills and sharpen your tools and really care about dedicating time and effort to making yourself a better salesperson, it's just, you're gonna win by default. So yes, that's a con. Your salary may depend on your skills, but the more skills you have, the more money you're gonna make. So that's a pro and a con. So. Pro, just to recap, the pro, number two pro on this series that we're doing, you can earn commission, that's great. Uh, the con is that your commission is gonna be directly related to, in most cases, your level of skill set, your salary will depend on your sales. So pro and con of being a car salesperson.